Valve lash is critical to optimizing performance. Too little valve lash and compression, intake charge, or exhaust gases can escape as the valves are kept from fully closing. Too much valve lash and you are sacrificing valve lift, limiting the intake charge and or exhaust gases from fully exiting the combustion chamber through the exhaust valve. Extreme valve lash can lead to engine damage, starting with the pushrod. For consistency, valve lash should be checked cold. First, remove the four valve cover screws allowing you to remove the valve cover and gasket. Next, remove the spark plug. Using the rewind, starter, or crankshaft tool, rotate the flywheel clockwise until the engine reaches top dead center. TDC is when the piston has traveled to the highest point in the cylinder. To locate top dead center, insert the eraser end of a small pencil into the spark plug hole. Feel for when the piston has reached its highest point. The compression stroke is the second cycle of the four stroke process. When both valves are closed, the piston is traveling to its highest point in the cylinder and both tappets are riding on the cam at the lowest point of the lobe profile. Valve clearance should be set with the piston at TDC and one hundred thousandths or about an eighth of an inch past TDC. Using a two thousandths feeler gauge inserted between the end of the valve and the rocker arm, turn the rocker nut until a slight drag is felt when the gauge is moved. Next, hold the nut with a 5 8 inch wrench and tighten the 1 8 inch Allen set screw in the center of the rocker nut to 50 inch pounds. Finally, recheck the valve lash with your feeler gauge. You want clearance to be between 1 and 3 thousandths of an inch.